Now imagine yourself as Scott Cawthon, all right? You just dropped an absolute banger of the game known as Five Nights at Freddy's out of pure spite because um some random game reviewer said that your models looked like they were animatronic-like. So, uh, you know, it was kind of a happy accident for this game to absolutely blow up. So now you're like, well, might as well make a sequel, right? So then you're like, well, I can just take the same formula of the last game and change it up a bit and tweak it, make it a bit better and make the sequel. And he did that, sort of. It's just the second one is absolute garbage and I don't care. We're talking about that today. Now, before you go into the comments and leave a whole little paragraph about why Five Nights at Freddy's 2 isn't garbage, well, that's the thing. I don't think it's complete garbage. I like it. Actually, I love it. I've been playing Five Nights at Freddy's for like, what, how long has it been? Like seven years now. So I understand. I like the game too. It's just, it's objectively just bad in my opinion. So we're going to be going over why it's bad and um why the first game is just better now first we gotta go over why five nights at freddy's one works so well five nights at freddy's one uses lighting to its advantage by basically adding absolutely no lighting at all like you can barely see anything plus the static and you can barely see anything unless you have night vision on or something but that actually works to its advantage it is able to take the models of the animatronics and put them in cool positions to make them look a bit creepier like how Bonnie is barely visible in the darkness and Freddy's pretty much not visible at all except for his eyes. And then Five Nights at Freddy's 2 takes that concept and completely throws it out the window and lets them completely be visible and make them look like freaking action figures. Like, none of them look scary at all. The only time the game actually does this correctly is in when the animatronics like actually pull up into your office and lights are flickering. And even then, I feel like you can see way too much of the models. But in FNAF 1, the only time you're able to see the animatronics actually in person, they're hidden behind a door or hidden behind whatever. Um, the only time I can think of like them being fully visible is when um, Foxy is running down the hall. But even then, it's such a split second thing that you pretty much have no time to react and actually look at it. Which, speaking of reactions, that's going to bring us to the next point. Which is, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 lets your fate, like, slow, it's like a slow burn, like, over time as your power starts to drain and stuff. But Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is just complete, like, everything's in your face at once. You don't even get to register the fact that you're slowly dying. Well, there's these little moments in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 where you have both of the door closes because maybe Bonnie and Chica. And then you slowly start to realize that, wow. I cannot do anything at this moment because I'm completely trapped and all of them are right in front of me. Except Five Nights at Freddy's 2 takes that concept and completely just makes it the whole game. Like every animatronic is right in front of you and so you don't have time to like see them slowly coming up to you. Well, most of the time actually you don't get to see them at all as you're only on cam 11 winding up the music box. I think the music box is absolutely garbage, but most of the time in every FNAF, you're only really checking on one camera the whole time. Like, for example, in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you're only checking on Foxy and sometimes Freddy. And on Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you're only checking on one camera. Like, at least Five Nights at Freddy's 1 has an incentive to where you can look around and see where Freddy is. But Five Nights at Freddy's 2, if you're not winding up the box, what the hell are you doing? Because now the box is almost out, and now you have 50,000 animatronics in your office at once, and now you're dead. <laughs> now it's time for the Foxy rant. I absolutely hate Foxy in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And it's weird, because Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Foxy's my favorite character, because of his game mechanics making the game challenging, but at the same time fun. Yeah, no, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Foxy's just absolutely annoying. Like, he tried to simulate the same thing, where you have to pay a lot of attention to Foxy, but, um, Foxy is the only thing challenging about it, as, you know, he's always in the hallway. I'm pretty sure you can't go without, like, five seconds unless there's another thing, like, whether Freddy in the hallway. But every five seconds, Foxy is there, and if you don't pay attention to him, you're either winding the music box, so there's absolutely no reward to doing anything else other than checking for Foxy and winding up the music box. So, all in all, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is just a poorly designed mess. Now, don't get me wrong, the lore and whatever the mini games are all very nice, and I think this is probably the best game story behind it, other than FNAF 3, I still think that's the best. But FNAF 2 is just so poorly designed that um, it's just a mess, in my opinion. But if you enjoy it, that's totally fine. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video.